This problem comes from Greek mythology. Who are these two people? The clue is in the string. On the left is Theseus, and he's about to wind his way through the labyrinth on his way to slay the Minotaur. Ariadne has just given him some string so that whenever he does that, he's going to be able to get out of the labyrinth again by retracing his path, picking up the string as he goes. Here's the Minotaur, and you notice that he's a little bit diminutive. Let's look for a more robust, masculine Minotaur. Here we go. And that is the opponent of Theseus. Theseus winds his way through the labyrinth, and after hours he ends up in this square room with these massive columns. In a fit of mathematical ecstasy, he decides to start winding the string around one column after another, each step getting longer and longer, until he gets to this point in the corner of the room. And then he wonders, can I get still longer? And he looks around, and he suddenly figures it out. He can move down to this spot here. So he moves down there, but how long is that? Are you sure that it's longer than four? Yes, we can use Pythagoras here, and Theseus knew Pythagoras. So it's four high and two across. So that would be four squared plus two squared, all rooted. So that would be root 20. And indeed, that's more than, than four. So Theseus here has found five lengths to unwind his string. But can he find a pattern that uses even more steps, not just five of them? Can you find a pattern that uses even more, each step longer than the step before, and each step not intersecting any of the steps or not touching any of the steps that happened before? Think about that, go off, turn off the video, try to solve that. Indeed, there is. Here's a, um, another way that he could have solved it. And that gets one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps. So that's significantly better. Is that the best he can get? Oh, okay. So we have one. Okay, so it touches here, so you can't touch. Okay, and these two are the same length. One, one. Yeah. Right, so this is not an acceptable solution that the two girls come up with there. And it's not acceptable for two reasons. First of all, you can see that there's a problem with the columns in the lower part, right here. There's a touch. And secondly, the first two stretches are both one, so they're not different. So you, you have to increase the length every step that you take. Those guys are celebrating because they've just discovered a pattern that has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps. And that was a class record. You can see they're constantly increasing. But they weren't unique. Another group had discovered a different pattern. And this pattern also is constantly increasing. Is this the best Theseus can do? One of these highly regular patterns? Sure enough, these three guys found a pattern that is totally irregular and has nine steps to it. And their solution isn't even unique. Here is another solution with nine steps. The unsolved problem of mathematics related to this problem is for larger squares. You can imagine that you can give your class any square dimensions that you want, and it becomes tougher and tougher to find the best solution as your size of square increases. Uh, here's an 8 by 8 square, and this is an attempt that I had to find the, the maximal. 
and this is as good as I could get after quite a little bit of time trying. And that's got 15 steps to it. No guarantees that that's the best possible. On the website, mathpickle.com, you will find downloadable worksheets for your students to play with the 5x5 and the 8x8 boards. Enjoy the problem. This is not one of the great problems of mathematics, but it is one that's customized and unsolved for your grade 8 classroom.